grading, and stormwater. Now that you have a layout in SiteOps, whether you used our layout tools or imported it from your favorite CAD program, we want to look at the grading. The grading will help us understand the economics of the site and look at cost and feasibility. So let's go to the grading section and in there we can pick on the grading solver button. At this point another window is going to open and we're going to start performing a grading analysis. In the lower right hand corner you're going to see the numbers moving because we're looking at the best way to grade the site. We'll do multiple grading plans looking at the cheapest way to build this site based on the constraints given. So let's zoom back out and let's look at the grading analysis. We're going to turn on the cut fill map. Red is cut, blue is fill, yellow means little to no elevation change and the severity of the color is giving you an idea of how severe the cut or fill might be. So we'll zoom into a section around the commercial area. Let's come in and let's turn on the boundaries. Let's turn on the contour lines and we can, again can start seeing what is the software thinking. This is not optimized at this point. This is just a this is what we call a designer level look into the site. Am I making the right decisions before we send this off for optimization? Let's zoom in just a little bit further. And you can see things such as what we'd call the M on a roadway for grading. Ponds graded in, lots are being graded, building pads are being graded, parking lots. All the constraints that I've identified to this project are being looked at. Now that we have a grading plan, let's do a high level look at stormwater. By the click of a button, SiteUps is going to take the grading plan where I stopped it. And it's going to do a stormwater design. Again, this is a very high level design. It's using the rational method. There we go. Now let's zoom in. I want to show you what kind of results you get. Because you're probably looking at, say, the commercial section in the upper left saying, wow, that's a lot of inlets and a lot of pipe. This is, again, the first look at stormwater. This is not optimized. We're looking for red pipes, for example, to say that I cannot get my site into the pond as I am hoping. In optimization, we're going to allow site ops to go through millions of iterations of how to do stormwater and grading together to come up with the best results. So what you do is you would save your project. We want to go out and we want to submit this for optimization. Let's do grading and stormwater piping. It's going to go into the system. It's going to run through millions and millions of iterations of what's the best way to grade and pipe the site. I'll get an email. It says, go back and look at your results. So the little budget that we saw in the right-hand corner has now turned into this budget, a very detailed budget that your clients will feel confident to look at. Cut, fill, topsoil, clearing, fine grading, seeding, erosion control, compaction expansion factors, on-site improvements, curb, gutter, sidewalk, asphalt, you can see the quantity, the unit cost, the totals, the subtotals. Again, stormwater, rational method. I can control min, max, pipe size, cover, length, depth, all the things you would normally do in a design. And then even allows you to add your own custom objects, trees and utility lines, and then assumptions such as light duty pavement. What does that mean? Then on the DWG Land XML side, we want to take this out to your favorite CAD program and take the design into construction document phase. As you see here, we have existing topography proposed. We have our residential lots, our commercial section, our roadways, our ponds, all that information that we can start working from. So let's zoom into the commercial section just to give you an idea of the geometry. Three line curve sections, parking counts and labels, roadways, again, everything we need to start going to creating our detailed construction documents. Now you're able to deliver your clients the information they need to make the correct decision on what to do with their project.